Hello, in this video I will show you how you can uh, create a subsite in a YG application. So if you take the sample I have on the screen, it's an, a template chosen uh, with a floating uh, window. Uh, window 1 is a floating one. So we, we will see this when we run the program. The program is uh, sequenced by using the program CS and in the main uh, function you see that uh, we are calling this window one so when 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 we run the application you see that we get this uh, floating window uh, it's not necessary to take uh, that template if i take uh, another uh, kind of template this is a single page application uh, it would be exactly the same so the starting point doesn't differ. You can also have a, a desktop uh, style template. That's uh, the main entry page, as you can see. And it's the window one defined in this project. So if we open page one, this is uh, the page we, we just saw. Uh, at startup, uh, at creation of the template, you have program CS and uh, th those two files which are used to, to configure more uh, in detail your application if required. So if, if you want to apply for a, a, a new uh, subsite, it means that you get a, a URL entry point to access uh, that part of your application straight for, for, from the URL, then you can simply add a, a new application from uh, the YG templates so uh, let's uh, go to yg you take an application and uh, let's name it uh, my subsite okay now that it has been added to our site our project we get uh, three new files the two uh, the html and json uh, as we had before for, for default and we have uh, the subsite uh, cs which is used to sequence what we want to do at this entry point in your application. So what we need now is to show a new page because we need a desktop background. So at the new item and take an empty page and we will name it my sub page. And this is the one now we, you need to trust the, the template of the page, no, no issue with that. So now we have our page, we will put a button on it uh, simply to show arguments we will pass through the URL. We will come back to that. So now we take up, uh, my subsite CS and uh, we want to pass arguments. Uh, we uh, do that uh, to show you that possibility also so this is a collection specialized collection which is requiring us to use uh, using and then from here we can simply check if the arguments passed is the type or the name we, we expect and if it's the case so you, you have the, the collection of arguments uh, from the URL. You check if it's the one, and if it's the, the one you want to have, then you create a, a dynamically a session variable, which will be used from the button click to show the argument. And after that, you go to the, to the main uh, function to call the page we want to, to show. So let's uh, call that page and uh, on, on the button here, we will then issue a message telling the value of the session variable. This is a dynamically created uh, session object uh, and now start the application and you will see that by default, we are running on the development machine. So for, from a deployed application, you will get the, the server URL. And from here, you can go 
to the subsite and we pass arguments and then you see that we are coming on that page and if you click you see that the argument is passed through the URL. I hope it's clear, clear enough for you and that solved your problems. Okay, see you.